This video shows you how to use the MSS JIK NA and the MSS JIK APP. They're essentially the same scale, with the MSS JIK APP being the trade approved version and the MSS JIK NA being the standard non approved alternative. Now, this scale can be used as a bench scale or as a floor scale. It has a stainless steel IP67 certified splash proof indicator and a mild steel base with a stainless steel 304 food grade platter. This makes this scale ideal for demanding industrial environments like this brewery. It has an RS232 port fitted as standard and there's a range of affordable optional extras including printers, USB connectivity for sending data to PCs and relay boards for automated weighing, filling and loading. If you want to speed up weighing processes, this is the scale you need. The RS232 output is one of the key benefits of this scale. Most people who buy this scale do so because it means they can automatically record every single weight reading in a spreadsheet. To be able to record weight data, simply add the Scale to PC USB lead to your order from the optional extras list. The lead plugs straight into your computer's USB port. Open up a spreadsheet, add any column headers you need, and then select the cell you'd like to start populating weight data with. Weight, date and time can all be sent to the spreadsheet from the scale. Simply add an item to the scale, press print and the information will appear on the spreadsheet. Remove the item from the scale, repeat the process and you'll start building a record of everything you weigh on the scale. There are two printers available. Both allow you to print sticky labels from the scale. Choose the Godex Thermal Sticky Label Printer for 56mm wide labels or for labels up to 76mm wide, choose the GP3120. If you want to print as well as send it to a PC, you'll need to use the Godex printer as this allows you to connect the printer and the PC cable to one port and send data to both when you press print. Creating a label of an item's weight is ideal for attaching to consignments or packages or if you need to keep a hard copy record of the weight of each item. Printing labels is as simple as recording data in a spreadsheet. With the printer connected, add an item to the scale, press print and a label is created. Marsden can set up your label format for you. There's a number of formats available and gross weight, net weight, tear weight, count, date and time and company name can all be included in various combinations. Automating your weighing processes can save you time, money and even improve weighing accuracy. The indicator has a built-in high-low alarm and traffic light display and this can be used in conjunction with the relay board to hit the weight targets you need to be hitting. The high-low alarm and traffic light display will tell you if you're under, over or you've hit your target weight. To set the high-low alarm, press high to enter the alarm setting mode. The first value we are going to enter is your weight target or your weight limit. Depending on which model of JIK indicator you have, use either the zero and gross net buttons or the tear button to move the cursor. Use the M plus and M minus keys to change the number up or down. Press high to confirm. So we've now set the high limit. This is the value we do not want to exceed. Once you've set your high limit, you can set a low limit by pressing low. This is the point that we want the scale to tell me that we're either about to hit the required weight or we've hit it. Repeat the process as before and then press low when you're done. So now when you begin adding weight, you'll see the scale is telling you that I'm currently below the target weight and changes when we hit the weight we need. If you go over, the scale will alert you. If you need a much more visual indication, a high low light tower is available, which simply plugs into your JIK indicator. By adding the relay board to your order, your JIK indicator can effectively control other devices and this works really well with the high-low alarm. In this case, the relay board has allowed the scale to be connected to a hopper, feeding produce onto the scale. Because we've set up the high-low alarm, when the scale reaches the target weight, it actually switches off the feed. That means less user input, faster weighing processes and potentially less waste. You can find out more about the MSSJIK, its key features, 
and how to use it by downloading the product sheet and user manual from our website. Alternatively, speak to the Marsden team on 01709 364 296 and find out which solution is best for your needs.